Hi, and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a shake gesture recognizer. So how you can let the user interact with your application by shaking their device. So that is what's coming up in this tutorial. If you want to know how to do that, how to implement that function, just keep watching. So let's take a look at how a shake gesture is implemented. And the first thing we do is create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application and I'm going to call it shake gesture. Make sure that the language is set to Swift and then click next if it is. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And what our app is going to do is it's going to jump from image to image each time someone shakes it. So what we need is simply an image view and we don't need any buttons at all because our app is going to be dependent upon only the shake. So what we need in order to move from image to image is of course some images. So let's go to Google and we are going to find some images. Just pick three images. I'm just going to search for nature because that's always a great placeholder. I'm going to make it medium size so that it isn't too huge. And I'm just going to save some random images that, ha that have decent resolution that looks awesome. Let's take this one, uh, save to your downloads. And I'm going to save this one and then I'm going to take this one. Okay, now every image is saved in our downloads and we can just pick them and drag them in to our project. Just make sure that it's copy items if needed so that we can drag around on them later and the app is still going to function properly. And I'm going to put it in full screen. I'm also going to say aspect fit else it's going to stretch uh, the image in, in funny ways. And then we have to connect our image view to our code so, so that we can access this. I'm just going to call it Im view image, image view. Not as cozy as my image view, but it does the job. And then we are going to create the function that is called every time our user shakes the device. I'm just going to get us some more space by going to the view controller and just focusing on that one. Everything now on is going to only happen in the view controller. So let's write the function that is going to be called each time our user shakes their device. So override func is motion ended and it is this one. And then as this function is called, we are going to check if it has been a shake. So we are going to say if event call event looks like it's a question mark there if event dot subtype is equal is equal to ui event subtype dot motion shake so we now check if the user has actually been shaking their device if that's the case we are going to run this code right here but we also need to Let's see, take a look at our images and just to keep everything nice and easy, we're just going to call our images one, two, three. And I'm so lucky that all the images are JPEG or JPG. If you don't have only JPG, uh, JPG, J, JPEGs, you can work around it, but it's easier if all have the same ending. And I'm just going to create an array for these images. So images, is equal to, and make sure that while there are numbers, make sure that they are strings, two and three, because these are the names of the images. And then just so we are sure that it has been shook, is it shook? Shaked, Sh shake, I'm just going to say shake, each time our user shakes it. And then we are going to say image view dot image, the image of the image view is equal to UI image and named and our image is named, but we also need a variable that keeps track of at which image we're currently at. So I'm just going to say current 
image because we're going to run through this array is equal to zero. We're going to start at the beginning of the array and the image is therefore going to be named images, images, and then the current image like that. And then we have to add on the ending, which is in my case, dot JPEG, just like that. It's all nice and good. This would work, but so that we can go through all the images, we first check if we have come to the end of all images. If cur current image is equal to images dot count minus one. If that's the case and we have come to the end of the array, we are going to say current image is equal to zero in order to start from the beginning. And if not, we're just going to say current image plus equals one to move one image along. So let's try to run this. And do you have any problems with this? And uh, let's see, Xcode, no, you don't. So let's try to run it. Now here is our app. As you can see, we don't see much because all we have is an image view. And before you shake around on your Mac, there is a feature here, which is called shake gesture. Let's try to click it. And as you can see, as we shake the device, we change the image in the image view. And it starts from the beginning and all works smoothly. So that is how you implement. And as you can see here, it has printed shake numerous of times. And that is how you implement a shake gesture. Just to go through everything once again, we create an array where we import all our images or the name of our images. We then set a variable that keeps track of at which place we are, zero, one, two. Now we're currently at zero, which means the first picture. We then created a function that is called each time our user shakes the device. And if the uh, shake, if the motion was a shake, then we are going to set the image of the image view equals to either that one, that one, that image. And then when we have done that, we're just moving one step along in order to go through all the images. So that is how simple it really is to implement a shake recognizer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click the subscribe button. And if you do that, I will see you in the next video. Once again, thank you for watching.